Today, we're going to talk about the Atlas Moth, scientific name Atticus Atlas. Now, this moth gets its name from the Greek titan Atlas for its colossal size. This is one of the largest moths and insects in the entire world. Its wingspan can approach somewhere between 24 to 27 centimeters, which is nearly nine and a half inches. That is larger than your average human hand span. That's how big across this moth's wingspan can be. There are only two other moths in the world with a larger wingspan. A very similar species that lives in the Philippines, and the white witch moth, which lives in South and Central America. The Atlas moth lives in Southeast Asia, and its wings are this beautiful blend of reds and browns, lots of earthy colors, and it has these triangular translucent windows on its wings, and the wing tips resemble snake heads. These are thought to help it startle away any would-be predators. Now, the reason why this moth would need to startle away predators instead of just fly away is because as adults, they do not have functional mouth parts and thus cannot eat. They're limited to the fat reserves that they built up while caterpillars, so they don't live usually typically more than a couple of weeks. Now this means that even short flights can be very costly and shave days off of their already short lives. So since they don't want to be flying around, the females, once they emerge from their cocoon, usually stay in one place, and they release pheromones to attract the males. The males have these really feathery, super sensitive antenna once they detect those pheromones, then they'll take flight to go find the female so that they can mate. Being that they're moths, they are holometabolous, which means that they undergo complete metamorphosis. The female lays spherical eggs on the underside of leaves, and those hatch after about two weeks. The caterpillars eat the leaves of plants such as citrus, cinnamon, guava, and evergreen trees. Once the caterpillars are fully grown, they'll spin a silken cocoon where they pupate before emerging as adult moths. Now, the silk of their cocoons is not currently commercially valuable like that of silkworms, but it is being researched as a potential alternative. Right now, it's just used for small little things like coin holders in areas where these moths live. And that is the Atlas Moth, a very cool, very big insect.